Chris, this millionaire mogul's disappearance is the talk of the town. And many are asking, was she the victim of a random attack? Or was it revenge for something else? Chris Richardson, a very rich widow, suddenly goes missing. It's really like a person just vanished off of the, the face of the earth with no trace. Disappearing into the thin air of Casper, Wyoming. It's the unknown of just wondering what happened. Cops wonder, did her own children kidnap her for the money? To your knowledge, has your family been cleared in Chris's disappearance? No, I don't believe so. Did Chris have a lover or a secret admirer? I would believe that obsessed is a good word to use, yes. And what does this trucker know? Don't get stupid with me. Just leave me alone, OK? Just want to find out what happened to Well, Chris go Richardson. find out then, OK? It's the question haunting the town of Casper. What happened to Chris Richardson? Someone took her and someone did something to her. She did not walk away. You pray she's alive. Chris, a beloved mother and grandmother, was last seen alive on a chilly October evening at about 5.30. That was her daughter Amber's birthday, and she tells our Jason Matera her mom just stopped by to drop off a card and give her a hug. And that night, she came by to bring me a birthday card um, and just tell me to have a great night, and then she left and went home. Did anything seem off kilter? No. I've replayed that in my mind a number of times and questioned, um, you know, did I miss something? Was she overly affectionate? Was she wanting to quickly get out of here? And it was the normal routine. Um, you know, she gave my kids a kiss and said, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Next morning, Chris Richardson is a no-show at work. We received a phone call asking if we had heard from her or seen her that morning because she never showed up to work. Amber and her husband, Pete, raced to Chris's home just around the corner. It's a short drive, but feels like an eternity to an extremely worried daughter. When did you realize that something was wrong? Um, shortly after we entered the house and opened the garage door, and when I saw her car still sitting in the garage, I knew that something was not right. Inside the house, sheer panic sets in as Amber and Pete search room to room. I started calling for her and she didn't answer. Looked in the bedroom and saw that she wasn't in the bed and we searched the whole house and she was not there. But it's what is there that is most alarming. Everything, a purse sitting on the kitchen counter with 700 plus dollars in it, driver's license, cell phone, passport, birth certificate, suitcases, clothes, everything to us looked like it was there. Everything except Chris Richardson. We called the police right then and there. Casper Police Detective John Hatcher is on the receiving end of the panicked 911 call. Police recall came into us at 908 um, from Amber saying that we need to come over, her mom was missing. Inside, crime scene detectives hope to discover clues that will answer the question, where is Chris Richardson? Inside, there have been no signs of struggle. Um, there was no signs of anything, of any foul play or anything had happened. Then, Detective Hatcher spots him. Her cell phone was laying on the bed. Again, she was a owner operator of a pretty large trucking company here in, in Casper, Wyoming, and all the trucks have to be dispatched through her. That cell phone is the way that she got it. But to a person that's running a company, and that's the only way you can make money is to have that cell phone. That was very suspicious. And it's about to get worse for the Richardson kids as detectives focus their investigation on them. Financially, family members would have everything to gain with Chris out of the picture. Chris and her son-in-law, Pete, didn't always see eye to eye. She's pretty dynamic. She's very, very sure of herself and very confident, um, very business sense. So we hit it off really well in certain ways and then kind of really went at it pretty good in a business sense. The investigation heats up when detectives run a financial background check on Pete and Amber. Could there be a paper trail linking the multi-million dollar trucking business and Chris's disappearance? It is really a major inconvenience and troubling to be put in that room and, and really treated like a criminal. Chris's son, Tracy, is an attorney obviously familiar with the legal system. He's adamant he has nothing to hide. 
it's police 101 that I've seen plenty of of your shows and datelines on television and the family is uh, often involved. But Tracy is willing to do whatever it takes to help solve his mother's disappearance. You can look at my whole life and you can have access to all of it and it will show you that I had nothing to do with this. After multiple interviews and even lie detector tests, Chris Richardson's family members remain persons of interest. Now why don't you think you and your wife have been cleared yet by them? You know, because I think they don't know. I think there's no concrete evidence. They don't have a suspect. So I think until they get to that point, I think they need to keep their minds open that anything's possible. Anything is possible, all right, as detectives comb through the trucking company's financial record books. That's when they make an explosive discovery. Between the bills and invoices, love letters. And they're addressed to Chris. What are you thinking? What do you hide? Up next, who is the mystery man behind these love letters? And what does he know about the disappearance of Chris Richardson? Crime Watch Daily's Jason Matera is about to find out. I thought I heard something. 